It, it all starts back with the oil spill, um, which we're now coming up to the fifth anniversary for. Uh, and again, the, uh, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill was a major uh, disaster, both from the environmental standpoint as well as from the public health standpoint. Here at University of Florida, um, there was, from the beginning, uh, a major focus on trying to understand some of the impacts of the oil spill um, in terms of the environment, but also in terms of its impact on people. And consequently, faculty members, investigators from the University of Florida uh, were actively engaged along the Gulf Coast, particularly along the Florida coast, um, very early and very soon after the onset of the, of the spill. Basically what we were interested in doing was talking with people, trying to understand what impacts the spill was having both at a physical level in terms of possible toxicologic responses, um, but also at a, at a psychological level in terms of the impact that the, the spill was having on individuals who lived in these particular areas. The, the goal behind this project was to try to help communities and the people that live within communities um, to, to deal with disasters and in particular man-made disasters where there's a high level of you know the unknown in knowing both what's happening and, and what's going to happen. The idea is to be able to provide tools for individuals, um, for communities, and also for governmental agencies so that they know what type of help to offer. We've called it the Healthy Gulf, Healthy Communities Project. And again, the idea is to, to work not only to determine and provide assurance, reassurance, that the Gulf is safe uh, and the fish coming out of the Gulf are safe, but also to provide the information to individuals living within these communities so that they can not only work to improve their own health, but also improve the health of communities and the resilience of their communities.